$50. I still have that dog sit in for a year later. Greetings everyone! Education is very important. School is very vital to its children's growth into being a person. But it's not just children that grow in schools, but the teachers as well. It grows their stress tolerance. So a month ago there was this teacher that, let's just say, went a bit wild. To get some context beyond the teacher, I'm guessing she's a Filipino teacher with how a lot of them are unhinged. I really fucking hate that subject. She got really really angry at her students for being loud pieces of shit while also not succeeding in school. So what does she do? Does she give them pieces of advice and teach them how important their studies are? Will she make them realize that their behavior is negatively affecting them and the people around them? Well, sort of, but she can't do it without the attention of a TikTok live stream. While she was scolding her students, she decided to pull up her phone, live stream herself in TikTok, and just started berating them. Of course, not all of my dear viewers understand the Pinoy language, so I'll translate it for you. You all have forgotten your boundaries. First of all, you do not pay us to treat us like robots and make fun of us. Second of all, I did not pass the board exam to not be respected by you people. You people, who have not reached anything in life. How dare all of you. You cannot take care of yourselves. Do not know how to be respectful. You all should take the board exam, where will you all even go? Maybe you won't even pass. With attitudes like that, you all are not even smart. Having terrible attitudes, you will not reach anything. I am the only one telling you this, there is no place in the world for you. Attitudes of poor people. You all won't reach anything in your lives. Now you have to understand that teachers are humans as well. They face their own struggles and hardships and just want a bit of respect. But in the video, it just seems very pretentious how she says certain sentences like how they will never get anywhere in life and how she succeeded and how they won't and they have poor people's attitudes. I know the quote of teachers open the door but you must enter it yourself but with her attitude, she's just distancing her students more away from wanting to become a good student. However, it's very clear that this teacher is still new into her teaching career and of course, it's not entirely her own fault since students being problematic and disrupted is a very common issue in education. Just a bit more chaotic here because- <laughs> Please don't think that this teacher is a bad person. She is within the appropriate reasons to behave like this, but what I don't get is why would you not only record yourself but live stream yourself having a breakdown? Like you're in the middle of a breakdown, screaming at your students and maybe throwing a bit of paper on your desk and you're like, let me film a TikTok. It's the one bit of this whole ordeal that I just can't wrap my head around. Because she did livestream herself having a breakdown, this entire thing gone viral and spawned a debate on student discipline and teacher's welfare. And the teacher herself getting a ton of flack and almost being penalized by the Department of Education, but the penalty was soon dismissed and Vice President Sao Duterte simply advised the teacher to take a moment to calm down when feeling frustrated. How about you calm down, girl? So in April Fools, we make a lot of jokes, we make a lot of fake posts. So there's this one post in Facebook where it's like, if you tattoo their fucking, I don't know, logo in your forehead, you'll get 100,000 pesos or 250 bucks. And one of them did it, but it was an April Fool's joke, so he got fucking tattooed in his fucking forehead for nothing. It, 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 he thought it was getting like 100k. And this fucking meme started getting a lot of traction in the media, how people were like, damn, what the fuck? You know, it's just saying, you know, if it feels too good, it might, it, might, it might be wrong. However, this entire drama, like whole meme fest, was quickly debunked with the guy who was alleged to have tattooed the fucking logo in his forehead for 100k 
He already did that three days earlier. So all of this could be just a planned marketing scheme by the fucking people organizing this. Is this a very smart idea? Maybe, but is it smart for the guy to post it? Not really. It just it just it just, it just ruined the entire fucking scope of the topic. Now it's just actually good marketing scheme and not just like an actual fucking meme. Level 5 got Riz, Livy done rizzing up baby Gronk, Ice Spice what the dog doing, Skibbity Toilet in real life only in Ohio, We Go Jims' is Creatine Alpha C I have to get this off my chest somehow, but Twitter just sucks man. Maybe it's the new owner being the richest man child in history or how the site is just a wasteland full of chronically online idiots. But no guys, this isn't a moral and ethic issue, but a logical issue. Twitter won't let me have my freedom of speech. In a quest for freedom of speech by Mark Zuckerberg, he decided to give away freedom of speech for new accounts. Of course, this is for protection against bonded accounts. So, for the low low price of 8 bucks a month, you can use the fucking site. However, if you don't have money, you poor son of a bitch, you can verify yourself by giving your phone number to the overlords in exchange for being able to use the fucking site. So I did and... I did everything I could, I changed the format of the number, I changed numbers, I even disabled spam detection because the Philippines is a lawless land of scam messages, but nada, nothing worked. Maybe I'll come back to my word whether I get my Twitter account and actually verify it and take it all back. Actually, it really still sucks. I have received terrible news. Jalen is quitting YouTube. <sighs> Evil fools. Evil fools. So if you're not aware of this wasteland of an area which is the drama commentary scene, Jalen was one of its controversial figures and someone that I often steal video ideas from. Remember when I said that she is a fairly controversial figure in the scene? Just, just, just a bit. Don't fool yourself with her not posting for months, she's still lurking on YouTube in a new channel so she's still doing YouTube. Just please get a fucking life. That's all for Bowen, I'll probably do more of this video type if this one gets at least 5 years.